Will you please welcome your host, Anthony Davis. Welcome to Stakeout TV's ruthless and compelling quiz show, where players bring £250 into the studio to play the game. The players have to pick on each other to survive. They have to take risks to win. Losers are unceremoniously eliminated, but winners can keep on winning and turn their starting stake of £250 into thousands of pounds. So let's play Stakeout. <laughs> In our last show, we were midway through cashing in, the round where our players try to win money from the bank. So we'll pick up from where we left off last time. Now, it was Jim's turn to play, but before we do, I'll just remind you of the money totals so far. OK, looking at it right now, Caroline, you're down there with £350. Remember, you started out with 500 quid. You've dropped that by 150 Not so good. Jim, £450, OK? It's a reasonable total. Martin, £650 you're holding there. But Steve, you're right up top with £800. Well done, very good. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that some of the supporters are no longer with us. The uh, excitement was obviously too much for them, and they do have jobs to go to. So let's continue with cashing in. <laughs> Jim, it's uh, your turn to go, so here comes your question. Genuine Parmesan cheese is aged for a minimum of how many years? That's your question, Jim. Now, I need uh, an amount you're prepared to stake on that, please. Oh, dear, you're looking a bit miserable about that. You're not, you're not a Parmesan cheese fan? I'm afraid not. 150. Yeah. 150 pounds. OK, well, here are the three possible answers, Jim. You have A, 2, B, 25, or C, 100 years. OK, select your answer now, please, Jim. OK, you've selected B there, 25, and that is the incorrect answer, Jim, I'm afraid. So your stake is now up for grabs amongst the other three, OK? Here comes a buzzer question. Listen carefully. In which 2001 film musical does Nicole Kidman sing Diamonds Martin? Moulin Rouge. It is Moulin Rouge. Well done. You've just taken £150 from Jim, taking you up to £800. OK, Caroline, it's time now for your cashing-in question. Here it comes. The Ponte Vecchio is a bridge spanning the River Arno in which Italian city? That's your question, Caroline. How much of your money are you prepared to stake? 350. 350. Yeah. Oh, you think you know this one. Okay, well, here are the three possible answers. A, Florence. B, Pisa. Or C, Venice. Select your answer now. OK, you've gone for A, and I can tell you that A is the correct answer. Very well done indeed. Look at that, you've doubled your stake, OK? Well, now it's time to uh, do a bit of a money update and have a look at how the scores stand right now. Uh, I can tell you that, uh, Jim, you've got £300 there, OK? It's not so good, is it? It seems to be going down. Mm -hmm. Caroline, doing well here. Good tactics, it seems. You're on £700. But uh, Steve and Martin, you're both out there in front with £800. <laughs> Still four players left in the game. That's too, too many. Let's play Face Off. <laughs> this is where Stakeout takes a particularly ruthless turn as it's time for our players to get personal as they pick on each other in Face Off. I'm going to ask each of them in turn to pick a player to play against, a question category to play with and a stake to play for. We'll play Face Off until only two players remain. We start with Steve because you have the most money so far. So, Steve, please, a player to play against. Who is it going to be? I'll choose Jim, please. You're choosing Jim. All right, there. He didn't like Parmesan cheese. I don't think he likes you very much right now. <laughs> OK, now I need a category, please. A category from the following. Movies, pop, history, science and nature or food. I'll choose pop, please. Pop, OK. And now a stake that you're prepared to play for, please. How much money? £300. Now, of course, Jim's only got £300. And if you're playing against him, that's the most you can play. So do you want to wipe him out? We'll have a go. Ah, evil Knievel, all right. Fingers we'll give crossed. it a go. So it's between Jim and Steve for £300. Here comes the question. Who made her 80s UK chart debut with Girls Just Want to Have Fun? Jim. Cindy Lauper. It was Cindy Lauper. Very well done. Ooh, taking £300 from Steve there. OK, well, it's almost neck and neck. Look at that. Jim, you're holding £600. Very well done indeed. So, Martin, it's time now for your face-off question. I need you to choose a player to play against, please. Uh, Steve, please. OK, playing against Steve. He's only holding £500 right now. A category from the following. Movies, history, science and nature or food. 
history, please. History. OK, and now an amount to play for. Uh, it seems that Steve only has £500, so that is the maximum you can play right now. Let's go for bust, 500. OK, go for bust. You're trying to take our champion from the game. Let's see how we go. So it's now a face-off between Martin and Steve. Here comes your question. In 44 BC, which Roman general was assassinated on the Ides of March? Martin. Claudius. It's not Claudius, no. Steve? Julius Caesar. It is Julius Caesar. Well done. You've just taken £500 from Martin, showing us what champions are made of there, Steve. OK, Caroline, it's time now for your face-off. Uh, first, I need a player for you to play against, please. Martin, please. OK, you've chosen Martin. He's got £300. I think I'm working on your tactics here. OK, now I need a category from you. From the following, movies, science and nature or food? Science and nature. Science and nature. And now an amount that you're prepared to play for here. Let's Martin has £300. Let's go for the £300. The £300, pounds, OK. <laughs> here comes the question. It's between Caroline and Martin. Where does the scorpion carry its sting? Martin. Tail. The tail is correct. Well done. You've just taken £300 from Caroline, knocking her down to £400. OK, it's time now for Jim's face-off question. Jim, please, a player to play against. Caroline. Caroline, OK, holding £400 there. Now, a category, please, Jim. There's only two left. You have movies or food? Movies. Movies. And now an amount to play for. Caroline's holding £400. How much of her money are you prepared to take here? £400. <laughs> OK, let's see if we can. It's between Caroline and Jim. Here comes the question. Eyes Wide Shut was the last film made by which... Jim. Stanley Kubrick. Is Stanley Kubrick. Well done. You've taken £400 from Caroline, which means she's down to nothing. Caroline, I'm afraid you have no money left. You've been bankrupted. It's time for you to leave the game. What I'd like to say to my supporters is to thank them very much for being here and supporting me through all of this, uh, even though this time they're all going away with nothing. We've just lost Caroline. You've all played a face-off and we still have more than two players. So we'll clear the category board and bring in five fresh categories. Now, Steve, pick a player, pick a category and pick an amount to play for, please. Who are you going to play against? I'll play against Martin. Martin, OK. And now a category, please. They're fresh categories. Here they come. TV, sport, literature, politics or geography. Literature. Literature, OK. And now an amount to play. Uh, it seems that Martin's holding £600 there. How much of his money do you want to play for here? We'll play for £600. £600, OK. Trying to knock Martin out of the game. It's a face-off between Steve and Martin. Here comes your question. The works of which novelist include Jamaica Inn and Rebecca? Steve. Daphne du Maurier. It is Daphne du Maurier. Well done. You're taking £600 from Martin, which means he has been bankrupted, he has no money left in the bank, and he is now having to leave the programme. Goodbye, Martin. I feel quite good. Good game, good spirit. Um, unfortunately, without my backers behind me, I just felt morally uh, inept, and uh, perhaps that uh, helped me um, uh, make an early exit. Martin played a good game, but not good enough. Let's take a look at how the cash stands right now. Jim, you came to the studio with £500. You've turned that into £1,000. It's very good indeed. But is it enough? Because Steve is our current champion with £1,600. <laughs> now we're down to two players, so let's play All or Nothing. As the name suggests, one of you will leave with nothing. The other will take the lot. All or Nothing is a simple on-the-buzzer head-to-head. The stakes start at £100 and rise rapidly. Get it right and you win the stake from your opponent. When you can no longer match a stake, you'll play for what you have left. Sudden death or double your stake. Steve, our current champion, you've got £1,600. Jim, you've got £1,000, so there's £2,600 to play for. Let's play. Here comes the question. Which Jerry Halliwell single was a 1984 UK mm. hit... Steve. It's Raining Men. It's Raining Men is correct for £100. Here comes your next question. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water was... Jim. Jaws. Jaws is correct for £200. Your next question is worth £300. Which Russian made the first manned space flight? Jim. Yuri Gagarin. Is Yuri Gagarin. Well done for £300. OK, £400 the next question. San Antonio is a popular tourist resort on which Mediterranean island? 
time out, I'm afraid. The correct answer was Ibiza. The next question is worth £500. Which artificial language was developed by Ludwig Zemanoff in gym? Esperanto. Is Esperanto correct for £500? OK, the next question is sudden death. It's worth £700. Uh, Steve, that's all you have right now. A bendy bully was the consolation prize in which, Steve? Bullseye. Bullseye is correct. Well done. You stay in the game there. You now have £1,400. Here comes your next question. Used in biryani and pilau dishes, which variety is sometimes called the king of rice? Steve. Basmati. Is basmati. Well done for £1,000. Takes you up to 2400 Here comes your next question. This is only worth £200, Jim. That's all you have. What's the name of the Welsh National Party that has its headquarters, Jim? Plaid Cymru. Is Plaid Cymru. Very well done. You're back in the game. You now have £400. Which jewel celebrates a 40th wedding anniversary? Jim. Ruby. Ruby is correct. £400. Double your score there. You're now on £800. The next question is sudden death again. It's still only worth £800. Jim, that's all you have. Worn on a netball player's bib, GA is a standard Ooh. abbreviation. T Steve. Goal attack. Goal attack is correct. Well done. That was £800. Jim, I'm afraid. Look at that. You've been bankrupted. You're down to no money now. It's time for you to leave the game. <laughs> I tack this word to answer more questions than anybody else, be quicker on the buzzer, and win the money. It didn't quite work out that way, but I came close. The tactics I'm using is, are to just target those people that have the lowest amounts of money in the, the face-off part of the show, um, because that way I'm protecting myself if they get it right, and it eliminates somebody um, if I get it right. Congratulations to Steve, our current stakeout champion. You came to the programme with £250, which you played into £2,600. <laughs> well, Steve, you can add that to the £2,125 you've already won, and you can now bank £4,475 and bring another £250 back to stakeout. Will you play again? Uh, yes, please. Excellent. Well, we've still got time left today, so we'll be back with three new challenges in a couple of moments. <laughs> Welcome back to Stakeout. We've got three new challengers joining Steve, our current champion. So let's meet our new players who hope to give him a run for his money. Hello. Very nice How to you see doing? you. Your name is? Daniel Maxwell. Daniel Maxwell. Where have you come from, Daniel? I'm from Leighton in East London. From Leighton, lovely. And who do you have with you supporting you this today? Is my lovely friend, Sarah Cunningham. Sarah. And uh, is he a lovely friend too? Only if he wins today. <laughs> Only if he wins today, OK. Let's have £250 in cash from you. There we go. Uh, okay. Fold it up. You don't want to give that to me, really, do you? I'm well, taking it really, anyway. No. OK, enjoy playing the game. Thank you. OK, Steve, well, you know, this is two games down now. Another £250 into the pot, I know. Let's take that. Let's see how you do this time on Stakeout. See you later. <laughs> Good to see you. What's your name, please? My name's Keith Tomlinson. Hi there, Keith Tomlinson. And uh, you have four supporters with you there, who are looking very happy to be here. Uh, but where have they come from? Mansfield in Nottinghamshire. Mansfield in Nottinghamshire. Long way to see us. Very nice of you to be here. £250 in cash. Taking that straight off you right now. Thank you very much. Enjoy playing the game. Thank you. Finally, here we go. What's your name? My name's Heidi. Hi there, Heidi. £250 straight away. Oh, you're oh. shaking the wrong... Oh, my God, it's like playing patty cake. I wasn't prepared for that. Now, I know you have four uh, supporters with you here. Who are these people? Um, this is Dave, Chris, Andy and Adrian, and we're from Weatherby in West Yorkshire. From Weatherby in West Yorkshire. OK, well, Weatherby must be pretty empty today. I'll tell you something. <laughs> I now have £1,000 from our four contestants. Let's play Stakeout. <laughs> Let's find out what the supporters had to say about their players. <coughs> Hopefully Daniel will do well today because he's confident, um, he's good at general knowledge um, and if he doesn't then he's just had a lot of fun but if he wins I get to go on holiday so. Keith's never nervous, he's so laid back people say he's asleep. Um, we just hope that he'll do well and he'll be alright. Keith has a couple of weak spots and that's pop and sport. Other than that, he knows a lot of trivia. 
a risk taking hell raising fun loving, hell raising, hell raising. Fun -loving <laughs> erratic <Yeah>. hormonal <laughs> 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 That's about sums her up. <laughs> I wonder if Steve wishes his supporters could be with him now to cheer him on. As always, we give our players another £250, bringing their total starting stake to £500. We start with All In. I'm going to ask you a question with three possible answers. A stake of £75 is taken from each of you, which means there's £300 up for grabs on every question. Whoever answers correctly splits that pot. Here comes your first question. Which brownish game bird changes its plumage to pure white in winter? A. Partridge, B. Capercaillie, or C. Ptarmigan? Select your answer now. OK, well, the answer we were looking for is C. Ptarmigan. And I can see that two of you get that right, so you two get your stake back. Here comes the next question. The Cortes is the two-chamber parliament of which European country? A, Spain, B, Greece, or C, Sweden? Select your answer now, please. Well, the answer I was looking for there is A, Spain, and I can see that you all get that. Keith didn't quite get in there in time. Here comes the third question. Voiced by Jim Backus, what is the name of TV's Mr. Magoo? A. Percy, B. Lou, or C. Quincy? Select your answer now. OK, well, the answer I was looking for there is C. Quincy, and that time just Keith getting that right that time. OK, fourth and final question now. <laughs> Betchamel sauce was named after which of the following? A. French courtier, B. Australian mountain, or C. English poet? Select your answer, please. OK, the answer I was looking for there is A. French courtier, and I can see that that time just two of you getting that right, uh, two of you timing out, it seems. OK, well, let's see who's got what in the money stakes at this stage. Um, it's Daniel, you're holding £300 there. Now, Heidi, £450. But Steve, £600. I'm afraid you've dropped down. But Keith, you've taken the lead there with £650. <laughs> That's how the cash totals stand. Now we'll give them a chance to take their money from the bank as we play Cashing In. <laughs> Each player gets one chance to cash in. We ask them a question, but do not give them the three possible answers. Before I tell them those answers, they've got to decide how much of their money to stake on getting it right. Get it right, and they double their stake. Get it wrong, and the other players get a chance to win that stake from them. Now, Keith, as you have the most money, you get to go first. Here's your question. In which city did John and Yoko's famous honeymoon bed-in take place? Keith, that's your question. You've got £650. How much are you prepared to stake on getting that right? £350. £350. Here are your three possible answers, Keith. A, Tokyo, B, Liverpool, or C, Amsterdam? Select your answer, please. OK, you've chosen A. I can tell you that is the incorrect answer. I was looking for C, Amsterdam. That wrong answer means Keith's £350 is up for grabs between the others in a buzzer question. Stand by on your buzzers. Here it comes. Which capital city of Burgundy is famed for its mustard? Heidi. Dijon. It is Dijon. Well done. You've just taken <laughs> £350 from Keith. OK, Steve, it's time now for your cashing-in question. Here it comes. What was the name of the children's sailboat in the Arthur Ransom's Swallows and Amazons? That's your question. How much are you prepared to stake on getting it right, Steve? 200. 200 of your 600 pounds. OK, here are the three possible answers. A, Swallow, B, Maid Mary, or C, Amazon. Select your answer now. OK, well, you've gone for B. I can tell you the correct answer is A, swallow. So that is incorrect, I'm afraid, Steve, which means now we have a question that is available to everybody. It's a buzzer question. Listen carefully. Here it comes. Which English town is famous for the crooked spire of its parish church, St Mary and All Saints? Keith. 
Chesterfield. Chesterfield is correct. Well done. You take £200 of Steve's money. Heidi, it's time now for your cashing in question. Here it comes. In which year was the Berlin Wall erected? That's the question, Heidi. How much of your £800 are you prepared to stake on getting it right? £200. £200. All right. I think you're playing it quite safe there, aren't you? Here are the three possible answers. A, 1951, B, 1961, or C, 1971. Select your answer now. Well, I can see you've chosen A. I'm afraid that's the incorrect answer. We were looking for B, 1961, which means that now a buzzer question is available to the other three. It's for Heidi's £200. Listen carefully. Here it comes. Thief of Time is a bestseller from the pen of which, Steve? Terry Pratchett. Terry Pratchett is correct. Well done. You've taken £200 from Heidi, bringing you up to £600. Daniel, it's time now for your cashing in question. Here it comes. Yokozuna, Okziki and Sekiwaki are major grades achieved by competitors in which sport? That's the question. How much of your money are you prepared to stake on getting it right, please? Uh... I have to be very risky. £100. £100. OK. Well, here are the three possible answers. A, judo, B, karate, or C, sumo. Select your answer now, please, Daniel. OK, you've chosen C, sumo. I can tell you that's the correct answer. Very well done there. So at the end of cashing in, let's see how the money totals stand right now. Daniel, you're holding £400 at the moment. Keith, you've got £500 of your own money. Uh, Steve and Heidi, you're tying at the moment with £600. <laughs> Still four players left in the game. That's too, too many. <laughs> let's play Face Off. This is where stakeout takes a particularly ruthless turn as it's time for our players to get personal as they pick on each other in face-off. I'm going to ask them each in turn to pick a player to play against, a question category to play with and a stake to play for. <coughs> well, I'm afraid that that sound means that we've run out of time, we've come to the end of the show, but we will pick up right here next time, so don't worry about that. While looking at the score, it seems that Steve still remains a champion right now. Uh, tying with Heidi, we'll see you next time on Stakeout. Yeah. <laughs>